Hello sewing friends, it's Folaye and you're welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial will be on how to make this beautiful cow neckline, as you can see it, without using a um, pattern. Yes, that is what today's tutorial will be about. And before we go right into it, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, kindly do that now by clicking on the subscribe button down below. And also turn on the notification bell so you get notified each time I upload a new video, which I do every week. Yeah, and don't forget to also like and share this video. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So, guys, I already ruled out my vertical measurements. This is half of my hand hole, which is seven and a half inches. The waistline, which is 15 and a half inches, and the top length, which is 23 inches. So, so this is my shoulder line, and I inserted the three inches, eight inches standard to get the shoulder slope. I have a detailed video on how to draft a basic bodice pattern and the link is in the description box below. Kindly check it out to know how I inserted my measurements here. Now, the next thing I'll do is to get the midpoint of what I have for my armhole line here. This six and a half. So, three one quarter is the midpoint and I will insert quarter of my bust circumference measurements my bust circumference measurement is 37 inches so divided by 4 that is 9 one quarter inches 9.25 since this is a stretchy fabric it doesn't need um, a zipper and I will also just insert maybe half inch for the size seam allowance so I'll just insert nine and a half inches right there and i'm also drafting the back bodies first so this is the back bodies i'm drafting so this back bodies will be used to cut the front bodies to cut um where the cow neckline will be so the first thing you will do is to draft your back bodies first which i'm doing right now now going over to the waist Quarter of my waist measurement is seven and one quarter inches. So I just make it seven and a half inches with the size seam allowance. I'll just take size seam allowance of a quarter inch or half inch. This is a very stretchy fabric, so I don't need much um, allowance, size seam allowance. Then going over to my hip, I will insert my hip measurement. Quarter of my hip measurement is also nine and a half inches. I will insert that right here and connect. Right there. Now I will connect my ham hole from the quarter of my bust measurement to so this will be the back ham hole. Let me see it right there. Now going to the neckline. I'll make a neck width of three inches, which I have here already marked out then for the depth i'll make it one inch and connect it in like manner can you see it now the next thing i'll do now is to cut it out Now, going over to the front pattern, I'll get the remaining fabric and fold it in bias form. So, I'll fold it in like manner, in bias form. So to get your um, cow neckline, 
you have to fold in bias form to cut the front bodies which I'm doing right now okay so let me place it on it to know just watch how I place the back bodies to cut off the front bodies now for the top I put on I I did um six inches for the so this is the lower part now this is the hem part can you see how I place it make sure it aligns with the folded part on bias and this is the neckline the upper parts so on this part make sure you have about six inches which i have here for the other top i put on i did six inches but i'll not make it up to that for this top so, so i don't want it i don't want the um cow to be too much to fall too deep that is why i'm using four inches here but for the initial one I showed you, it was um, six inches I used. So here yeah, I have four inches. So now I will. Let's see. You can also pin it down. It depends on the kind of fabric you are working with. Now, what I will do is to trace it out and cut it in like manner. Now, this is what I have. So, this is for the front bodies, while well, this is for the back bodies. So just like I said, it depends on how you want the cow neckline to fall. So at that um, neckline point, you can make it fall between 4 to 6 inches. It depends on your choice. So the next thing I will do now, since I said it is a sleeveless um, top, so I will go in by 1.5 inches at the shoulder area. So the shoulder will not be popping out and be out of place so this is the back bodies i'm going by one and a half inches or one inch it depends on what you want For the front, I'm also going by one and a half inches. the front neckline I will come in by half inch or to the quarter of an inch so. now going over to the stitching here is the back bodies I will place the front bodies on it. Let me see it. Make sure the shoulders align. Let me see what I mean.
Now I will go and stitch it up. The first thing I will do is to aim the neckline. Just fold it twice. I will run the stitch through it. And also for the back, I will fold it in twice and run the stitch through it. Then I will join the shoulders together and also aim the armhole area since it is um, a sleeveless um, top and taking the half inch sizing allowance and also aim the folding the end parts so that is all I have to do for the stitching then I'll go and do all that and we have come to the end of making the cow um, neckline top so i'll go and do that now and show you the final results at this point if you're yet to subscribe to my channel kindly do that now click on the subscribe button down below and also turn on the notification bell so guys i'm done with the um cow neckline can you see it can you see how full it is so this is just four inches that I used um, for the neckline. So if you want it to fall more than this, then you can extend it to five or six inches. And if you don't want the cow neckline to fall as much as this, you can just do three inches. So it depends on um, your choice. So I already folded the um, armhole area too. Can you see it? I folded it in and also finished up the neckline and also folding the hem. So we've come to the end of today's tutorial. If this tutorial has been helpful, give this video a giant thumbs up. And if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please do that now. Click on the subscribe button down below and subscribe. Also turn on the notification bell. Thank you for joining me. I will see you in my next video. Bye.